Hi everybody, welcome back. Today in this video, we are going to fine tune GPT-2 model in order to write novel. I'll be using Harry Potter's chapter 1 in order to fine tune this GPT-2 model. Let me give you a quick look to the data which we are going to fine tune the GPT-2 model. This is a quick look to the data. Well, this is not enough data to fine tune GPT-2, but to give you an enough idea how to fine tune GPT-2, I'll be going with this data. So this was all about the data. Now let's go into the code itself. And now first of all, we have to connect to GPU runtime to check, follow the steps and check out if you are connected to GPU or not as I'm doing in this video. So this is the first cell where we are setting the TensorFlow version to be 1.x and we are installing GPT-2 simple. And then we are importing GPT-2 simple as GPT-2. There's not much to explain over here. Now, after running this cell, let's jump into the next cell. Next, we have to download the model. It's quite simple. You just have to say gpt2.downloadgpt2 and model name equals to whatever you want. For this video, I'll be going with 124M. Um, the model you can choose from, you can see on the screen. Once you have chosen your model, run this cell by specifying the name as 124M or 117M, whatever you are choosing, depending on. Once the execution of the cell is finished, you can see a models folder in your file browser and there would be a name of the model which you have downloaded. If you can't see that, uh, rerun that cell. Next we have to define the file name. Uh, for that we have to upload the file which I have shown uh, in the starting of this video. Uh, after you have uploaded the file, you have to set the file name equals to the file name whatever you have ch chosen uh, with the extension of that file. After this, we are finally doing the fine tune. Uh, it's as simple as just saying GPT-2 dot fine tune and specifying some um, parameters. Uh, first of all, you have to create session. Then in the fine tune, uh, define that session and model name equals to whatever model you have downloaded. I have downloaded 124M, so I will be going with 124M and steps equals to uh, meaning the number of epochs you want to run from and run name equals to run one. Um, basically when we run this it will want to save the um, model and it will name that run one and print every is like um, it will show you loss and average loss after every 10 epochs sample every means after every 20 epochs it will um, printing a sample on the screen and save every means um, it, it will going to save the model after every 20 epochs. When you click run on this cell, uh, this cell will going to take longest time from all the cell. Let it run up to where you want to, but I will run up to just 30 epochs. Once, once the fine tuning is completed or you stop the cell, it's time to generate the predictions or text generations or uh, let it write the, write the novel. Um, you can do it in the two ways by just simply saying gpt dot generate and the second way is by defining some parameters in that gpt dot generate function um, the parameters are like um, the length uh, first parameter is length which means the number of tokens you want to generate um, over here i have chosen 250 so it will going to generate 250 tokens and next comes the temperature temperature takes value from 0 to 1 and it it generally signifies the randomness in the values lesser the value you choose you are going to find repeatedness in your sentences uh, max the value uh, discrete sentences uh, prefix stands for uh, the sentence start from that particular phrase or particular prefix and samples obviously the number of samples you want to produce and last but not least top key zero is default value for it 40 is the optimal value for it and it it generally means the number of tokens you want to take in account during the text generation if you choose 40 it would going to take 40 tokens at max uh, in a in a particular sentence generation once the execution of this cell is finished you are going to see um, the generated sentences slash novels then um, you can read this if you want as i said it will going to produce five samples and all the samples are on the screen if you want to read these samples you can pause the video and again i'm going to say the data was not enough to fine tune uh, you would require more data to 
better fine tune this model. If you want to run this model locally, you can download the checkpoint from here and start making predictions. And uh, with this ad, I would like to end this video. Till then, keep coding. And at last, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. See you in the next video.